Welcome to Learning Mole. So this is lesson five in our Subtraction for Kids series and we're really going to focus on using the inverse operation in this one. This would really be a skill that's really, really important for double checking and I would say that double checking needs to be enforced at a very early age as well. Getting the idea of double checking and giving your child the skills, it's very easy to say to a child, we'll double check your work. They actually need skills, strategies and methods to be able to check their work. They, otherwise, they just look over it and say, yes, it's fine and make the same mistake again. So this is a great one for starting that double checking journey and um, for subtraction, but also for many of the other operations. So we're looking really at the inverse of addition. Um, usually children will be stronger in the addition and that's why um, we really need to focus on the subtraction and really pull that up to par. So using the inverse is basically using an addition calculation and swapping the numbers around to make it into a subtraction calculation to help you double check. So I'm going to show you how you would demonstrate it with cubes or counters or whatever you want to use in your house, uh, Lego bricks and then how you can actually then put it into a written form. So I want to look at the inverse of 4 plus 1. So 4 plus 1 we all know equals 5, but how do I double check that? How can I use the inverse to help me there? So if I knew that 4 plus 1 equals 5, how can I swap that around? So here is my 4, here is my 1 equals 5. I would demonstrate this with children first, well, how could you swap that around to double check that you're just exactly right? So swap it around, go backwards. Five, take away one, equals four. So immediately they can visually see that. Swap it again. Five, take away four. Actually physically do it if you want. Break the four off, equals one. So immediately they've got that visual in front of them to see those different inverse operations. Once your child is understanding that idea and being able to do it with cubes, you can then get them to write it down. So you might give them a calculation, seven plus two equals nine. What are the two inverse calculations that you can create for that? Again, this is a great way of double checking. Not really required for a calculation of four plus one, but it's a good way of getting your child practicing and feeling comfortable with it because as you will see in further lessons, using that inverse can really come in handy when you've got the bigger calculations and you're actually using those more formal written methods for addition and subtraction.